Nigeria has reached a bilateral agreement with Singapore to end double taxation and prevent tax evasion on income and capital benefits. Finance Minister Kemi Adeosun says the agreement will facilitate more trade between the two countries and ensure that enterprises aren't taxed twice on income or profits. Nigeria has also announced a bilateral air service agreement with Qatar and Singapore. The deal will ease the movement of goods and passengers among the three nations. The agreements will come to effect after being ratified by Parliament. Now, the basis on which we chose um, or we decided to enter into this agreement with Singapore is that Singapore is actually a major trading partner of Nigeria. Um, they buy uh, oil from us, uh, petroleum export to Singapore um, for the last five years is about 264 billion versus at, um, imports of 311 billion. So it's a, it's, a, it's a major trading partner and we needed um, to have this bilateral agreement that basically ensures that companies are not taxed twice, but it also assures that companies cannot evade tax. So you can't evade um, tax when you're trading between the two countries. Well, of course, Singapore is becoming the most efficient and the biggest hub around the far eastern part of our globe, um, servicing New Zealand, Australia, Japan, China, uh, Singapore themselves, Malaysia, etc. And um, we thought that in our efforts to also create a hub within Nigeria, uh, at the center of Africa, we would leverage on the opportunity to create uh, air services between the two countries. And of course, uh, similar is the case with Qatar being uh, in the Middle East, and they have a very robust aviation, very um, strong uh, carrier, and so on.